Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and with me for commentary is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Bolton Wanderers taking on Real Madrid. Thank you Derek, there's no such thing as a small semi-final. Every semi-final and every cup competition carries pressure. Pressure affects both sets of players. The visitors come in here as big favourites. The home team's got nothing to lose. Have a go. Big carrot beyond the final. And Benzema at the hub of this attack. Let's see what he does next. Casemiro. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. A very good tackle. And here's the starting lineup for Bolton Wanderers. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Rafael Varane plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Toni Kroos plays with Luka Modric in central midfield. And leading the line today is Karim Benzema. Real Madrid have given it away. Well, he's a man anyone would want in their side. Toni Kroos, the German midfield player. To what extent will he contribute in this game, Lee? Well, you need lots of attributes to be a midfield player. But one of them is his passing. And his range of passing is second to none. Long range, mid range, and he can thread a pass as well. Vinicius Jr. Wide of the target, and he's going to be disappointed. Disappointed? Wow, it's a shocker. He should be doing a lot, lot better than that. This is Kroos. Modric. Well, couldn't keep it. And make no mistake, Lee, Real Madrid expect to progress to the knockout stages in every Champions League campaign. Nevertheless, every Champions League match, irrespective of the stage, is a special occasion involving the Merengues. Well, it is. They're football royalty, as they say. And uh, every time they take the pitch, they expect to win, let alone in the Champions League, La Liga, any competition they're in. And quite rightly so, because their history is really, really rich. Murphy Marcelo read it perfectly and intercepted Modric and back with Kroos he can Kroos tremendous block and they've gone for the short corner he read it well, but still work to do. Now, what can they do from here? Gareth Bale! Simple catch, really. This is Kroos. Oh, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Rafael Varane. Marcelo. He's given it straight to the opposition. Bale. That's how to flummox the opposing defender. Alas, a wild, wild attempt. Well, after that effort, I'm not sure whether he's right or left-footed. Now Casemiro. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Murphy. Couldn't keep it. No let up in the pressing department. Modric. Modric, it might take a bit of teamwork. And a strong tackle. And he did what he had to do defensively. Benzema! 
Oh dear, I think he's left his shooting boots behind in the dressing room. Well, it was well worth the effort. Poor technique, really. Should do better than that. Well, that was the chance to take the lead, and the manager's frustration is there for all to see. Give it away. No real conviction in the challenge. Happy to take on the shot. Opportunity to take the lead. The opening goal of the game doesn't fall for Real Madrid. Not yet, anyway. Well, his finishing has to be better than that. The opening goal was begging. Well, this isn't exactly new territory for Real Madrid. More semi-final appearances than any other team, and they expect success, Lee. Well, they do, and when you've played in so many semi-finals, it doesn't half settle the nerves before. But there will be players in that dressing room who are a little bit nervous about controlling your nerves, controlling your emotions, and going out and doing your job. Simple as that. Murphy. And given away. Good-looking sequence, and decent acreage for Real Madrid to run into. Well, the clearance, half-hearted. A glorious chance. Well, it was a horrific mistake, but the goalkeeper has made amends. Well, he's a happy boy now. Just look at the smile on his face. Two minutes ago, he wasn't so happy. And very deftly cut out. Low. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Real Madrid have given it away. <laughs> the electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. It's opening up for them. Real chance. That is goalkeeping of the highest order and of the bravest order as well. Well, it's not all about... The first half here comes to an end. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Bale... Genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion, but haven't been able to do so. This might be ideal for the counter. Murphy. To the goal that puts them ahead. And that is offside. Bale has given it away. Can they get in behind them? Oh, surely. And a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been saying. But now the opening goal's gone in, tactics have got to change. The goal again, albeit from a different angle. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Goal, number nine, Daryl Murphy. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Thank goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. 
Modric. Now they've lost it. Murphy. Well read to ease the pressure. Murphy. And a very good challenge. The fans imploring him to fire it towards goal. Well, that was all down to the pressure applied and a throw forthcoming. Superbly read and executed. Course. In possession, Marcelo. And Cross failed to hold it. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Can he make it count? Oh, stellar defensive work to get back and win possession. Ramos completely on top of the situation. Course. And he was in the right place to intercept. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Now Casemiro. He has plenty of support. He read it well, but still work to do. So, 20 minutes to go. Throw-ins given. Murphy. Murphy. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Now Casemiro. Of course. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Given away. He's lost it. And decent acreage for Real Madrid to run into. It's with Daryl Murphy. Murphy. Might be a chance here. That is goalkeeping of the highest order and of the bravest order as well. Well, it's not all about tipping balls over the bar and round the post. It's about being brave and diving at players' feet. The ball with Luka Modric. Clear foul, but a Real Madrid advantage. Now Casemiro. Bale. Modric. This is Gareth Bale. Benzema. Benzema. Here's Kroos. Kroos! Well, a moment he would dearly love to have back. Well, listen, he's tried to hit it too hard. Just relax a little bit, focus on your technique. Well, the crowd have reacted to this effort the players are putting in. They just need to keep their concentration and the game should be theirs. there to intercept Kroos 
Modric. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Murphy. Good technique displayed. As an attacking player, you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here. Yeah, the defence got that spot on, and so did the linesman. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. is that and the hosts will take with them a lead going into the return game wow what a job they did today you could see the game plan from the first minute and you have to say if they control the second leg like today they will be one of the finalists superb performance well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people Lee well he's always a danger isn't he no more so when he grabbed that goal he never disappoints me when I watch him he's just too good simple